today on Living Hakuna. Join us as we explore an airplane wreck, kiteboard, sail through some rough waves, and swim with sharks. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Deco. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. What's up guys, good morning. Today we're actually going to be moving to a marina. We have like two weeks since we left Bimini. We have two weeks worth of trash, which is not a lot, but we want to get rid of it. And we also want to get some gas, so we're going to a marina. And then we're gonna head to, where are we gonna head next? To Norman's Key. To Norman's Key. Apparently there's like a, a, an airplane there, which we need to read about. Sounds interesting. So yeah, it's only 8 in the morning, so we had a full day ahead of us. Lejo went up the, the dog to get rid of the trash. And I'm staying here because as you can tell, it's really tall, so we can't walk the dog here. So we're gonna have to go to the beach, but... Right now, I'm seeing like a bunch of sharks. Yep, there's one coming over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's a shark over there. One here, one here, and then there's a bunch over there. Oh my God, it's going up. Is that big Okay, let's go see the tiger shark. Oh my god, it is! <laughs> so are you going down to swim with the shark? No, thank you. <laughs> Why? Because Are you guys seeing all the sharks? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, like, look at all those sharks. What? This is great. Eko, how do you feel about the shark? We love the shark! Huh? How do you feel about the shark? Crazy, crazy shark. <laughs> I love sharks. Ah! Love the shark! We continued sailing our way south until we made it to Norman's Key. We're gonna go snorkeling. Where? Hey, Norman's Key. Norman's Key. Thank you. 
just came back to the boat after going to the airplane. And what were your thoughts, baby? It was super cool. A lot of little fishes, and they follow you like around. Yeah, and they chase you and everything. I thought that was super nice, yes. really cool. It's another beautiful day here in the Bahamas. We are still in Norman's Key, and today we're going kiting. Yes, we have maybe 20, 22 knots of wind, so it's just perfect. Yesterday, we were finally able to find out the story about the plane. So this island used to belong to Carlos Leder and the airplane that was crashed there is from Carlos Leder as well. He is a drug dealer that was born in Colombia, where, which is where we're from. And that's where my dad's side of the family is from. So he's not, it was not a plane from Pablo Escobar, which is who everybody really knows, who's from Medellin, which is where the city where Alejo is from. I just wanted to put it out there real quick, guys. As Colombians, please don't be that one person that sees a Colombian and tells them, oh, cocaine. No, we're not cocaine. Colombia has so many amazing things that are completely far and not related to any drug dealing or anything like that. In fact, 99.9% .9 of Colombians repel uh, Pablo Escobar and Carlos Leder and all those people because they did a lot of harm to our country. My parents and Alejo's parents actually lived that entire era of the drug dealing in Colombia the 80s and it was just terrible like they literally couldn't cross the street anywhere in the country without a bomb blowing up these people blew up uh, buildings blew up an airplane full of families just like us so we do not like them we do not feel proud of them we dislike them completely they are terrible humans so just sharing that out there for those of you that maybe didn't know unaware aware we're going kiting with Mrs. Andrea Palacio. Jesus. <laughs> Why do you always make me look bad? Okay, so we have all the Kai gear. We're gonna put it in the dinghy and we shall leave. to go to sleep 
and then we were going to fill our drinking water bottles and our drinking water pump stopped working. We have two problems. We have our technician here working on the situation. Apparently there's a cable in the drinking water pump that has like a bad yeah, connection or something. Yeah. Uh, no, no sirve. Okay, ya. Ahí, otra vez. No. And then on top of that, <laughs> we have problem number two. Um, there's like 30 knots outside and we're dragging. We are uh, already 43 meters away from our anchor. So I'm going to go check out hopefully that we're not going to hit any corals, any rocks while my technician fixes that. a good place to drag because we have islands all around us and we're gonna hit something if we start dragging so but I can already tell this is gonna be a really really tough night because we're not gonna sleep at all this boat life is very tough <laughs> very tough why so we have a windy couple of days and apparently no the place hide. the place where we are is not a good hideout so I don't get any sleep because I'm nervous of the boat just dragging. But I guess I have to get used to it. And we have a current where we are, and then the wind hit, hits us from the side, and then it takes us like, woo, going around, and then yeah, it's too bad. But it's nighttime, we're not gonna move right now. Stuck. We're stuck here for the night. But we're moving tomorrow early. I'm not a happy camper right now. <laughs> Plus, we don't have any internet here and we need to work. Oh my god, yes. Tell me about it. Tomorrow is Sunday and we don't have any internet. There's no signal. There's not even cell phone signal on this island. There's... <laughs> Can you hear the wind blowing? Look at how it's moving everything. We haven't had any signal the entire weekend and we need to work. It, Monday is coming and we need to have internet. We need to do some stuff. We're thinking of going down, right? To another island where it might have Wi-Fi and internet signal. So what are you going to do about it, Captain? I'm going to buy a parrot. <laughs> so you can call me Captain. <laughs> <laughs> you got the <laughs> Oh, oh man. man. 9 a.m. and we're heading south for Compass Key. We're going with a little piece of jeep open and we're going 6.5 knots. So yeah, it's pretty good. And we only have this little piece of So this morning, we actually left um, Norman's Key because we didn't have any signal. So we just decided to leave. The waves are pretty. It's moving, it's moving, so we lowered the table. Gentlemen, we're in lockdown. Yes, because this thing is moving. Cool.
shark feeding. Um, shark feeding. Or watching the sharks. We're going shark feeding. Or watching the sharks, something like that. It's day. Ciao. Ya venimos. Juiciosos. Sharks? They're like puppies! They're totally like puppies! <laughs> oh my god! Baby, we're totally going in. Let's do this. Okay, it's time to go in. We're going in. It's the moment of truth. Are you ready to swim and feed the sharks? Well, not <laughs> Okay, whatever. Swim. <gasps> oh my god! Excuse me, are you ready? Excuse me, are you ready? Are you nervous? Are you really nervous? <laughs> my husband is so nervous. He has a, you don't know if you're going in? <laughs> where on earth do you get to do this thing? Like, nowhere. You're coming in. You're not coming in? Huh? This is adrenaline to the max. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, where are they? Don't worry, we Si es otro atrás. Hello! Okay, you're not even... Hello! 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 Hello
They're so soft. Well, not really soft. They're like a snake. Like sandpaper. Yeah. Look, there's one coming here. Hello. Hi, friend. He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh shit, I don't want to step on the shark. <laughs> You're not going to step on one. <laughs> okay, go. Okay. Near the sharks. Are you kidding me? What's the point of coming here? You're not going to see the shark. Come, come, come. Closer, closer. Closer. <laughs> no, you're not going to They're going to feel the heartbeat. <laughs> Hello. I think I touched your head. Hi, buddy. As long as you don't go for the tail. <laughs> They're coming. Oh god, oh god, don't force my head. They're coming. They're coming. Big one. This guy's a big dude. Hi there, you're so big. That's the daddy out of all of them. Ah, is that a mom or a dad? That's what I was trying to figure out. I think they're all you under, 12, under 12, under 12! Are you sure oh, when they're born? <laughs> when they're born, it's mainly girls. Oh, man, they so much fun. Most of the time, all the girls survive because they're girls. Hey. So, most of the time... So, how do you feel? Like, the, like, That's crazy. <laughs> How have you liked the Exumas? It's been pretty nice. They're so beautiful. Very beautiful. Just look at this beach that we're at. White sandy beaches. White sandy beaches. So beautiful. And the shark thing was awesome. Yeah, it was crazy. Crazy. At first I wasn't going in the water because you know ta 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 shark <laughs> <laughs> shark bait. Chocolatina yes. Oh, la mi chocolatina yes. Oh, la culoncito. Ah, oh, la culoncito. Cuidado. Oh, sí, pasito. Oh, sí, pasito. Ah, good boy. Good girl. Good boy. Good girl. Good boy. Así sí, pasita. Good boy. Good girl, mi eco. Pasito. Good boy.